I grew up in Boulder, New York, which is on Long Island. I've never left. I definitely grew up fighting. You know, I had a tough other, older brother who, if he wasn't beating me up, um, he was making me fight his friends. I just grew up, grew up fighting, you know, and I think it helps a lot. I had a bunch of fights in this place. This is where I first started fighting, right here. I walked here every day when I was a little kid from uh, kindergarten to sixth grade. This is the high school where I grew up. I met my wife here, played, played all the sports, wrestled. I was a two-time county champion, uh, one-time state champion. Winning the states is still, is still you know, something I'm really proud of. This is where I used to live. This is my parents' house, born and raised right in here. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, hello, what a surprise. Oh, yeah. Oh, my mom's Welcome. cooking my favorite sloppy joes to my right. Thank God my wife keeps an impeccable house all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's always Otherwise, great. she might be panicking. So. Uh, I have great parents, a great sister, good brother, and uh, everyone's still here. So it's I have cousins in the area, all my family's around here. This one is Chris when he was eight months old. I think I, think I was feeding him a little too much. What do you think? <laughs> the, this is my favorite picture of the, my three kids together. It really helps me a lot, you know, with what I do is to have a great support system. And I don't think, I don't know where I'd be without them, you know, so. This is the, probably a lot better than the eight month what old picture, so. I want you to remember now. this one, everybody. <laughs> remember me for this. <laughs> Cute kid. This is like, this part of town where I live now, to me, was like the rich part of town, you know what I mean? Like I never, I was never really on this side of town. North of Sunrise Highway is considered North Bowl, and that's where I grew up, and uh, I considered, you know, we're tougher than these guys. These guys are all wimpy, wimpy guys, so I'm becoming a wimp now living over here. This is uh, Christopher James Weidman Jr. Big sister, my my baby girl. And this is my wife, Marie Violanza Hope Nalani Caban Weidman. We met when she was in fifth grade, I think, and I was in seventh grade. And uh, I remember thinking she was a pretty good looking girl. I think I was flirting a little bit. I was advanced for my age at that point. You were not, I was, you were 11 and I was nine. Yeah, I'm That's pretty so sick, cool. I'm pretty bad. My wife is, uh, you know, she's awesome, man. She's my rock, she's, she's always there for me. I know she's gonna be there for me, whether I lose, whether I win, you know, and she's the one I had to look at when I came home uh, with no money, you know, it was tough. And she, she stayed by me and now she sees that this fighting thing wasn't for nothing, you know, this fighting thing can actually pay the bills. I couldn't ask for a better wife and mother to my kids, so I'm very happy. Sometimes you feel like it's it's selfish because I enjoy fighting and I enjoy doing what I'm doing, but it, it's it's a sacrifice for them too. You know, it, it motivates me to work hard every day. You know, I don't go to the gym and and have an easy day. I refuse to do that. I always try to work harder than everybody else, and I can't I can't go go to the gym and just be lazy. You know, so. I was at Hofstra University. I took third my senior year and I took sixth place my my junior year. I think that's one of the things that motivates me you know, to do good in fighting is that I, I lost those matches. Uh, I graduated college at that point. Ray Longo was my next step. I went to Ray Longo school, and then from there out, it was, uh, when do I get a fight? Yeah, I met Chris Weidman through a, a friend of the academy who I was teaching, and uh, Chris at the time, I think, was just finishing up wrestling at Hofstra and uh, he brought him to the gym one night and uh, we kind of clicked right away. He's an absolute beast and I think he's a handful for anybody fighting him. 